Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Vita and Giovanna. We're here in one of my pastures, which is the norm for me. And uh, I was just wanting to stop in and, and uh, kind of give you an update. Um, went to uh, an annual meeting of a pretty big farm organization. And, you know, I, I, I don't think there's a lot of awareness of what's happening in in farming right now in ranching um i i want you guys to understand that um i work really hard for my beef i work really hard to make my cattle um a high quality beef product and as it stands right now um there is no requirement for companies to tell you where your beef comes from and because of that, it allows a lot of loopholes in integrity and honesty and what you're seeing in the meat counters. So I just wanted to kind of take a minute to um, let you guys know what you're seeing in the meat counters and what's real and what's um, imaginary, what's kind of a gray area. Um, if you are seeing packages that have product of the USA or packaged in the USA they are doing what what has been done in many industries it's no first for the beef industry but um, those pieces of meat are not necessarily um, either originating from the United States or even uh, butchered in the United States. Some of that meat is butchered in other countries in facilities that if you go on the internet, you'd, you'd be in for an awakening. And I challenge you to do that because you're feeding your families. We're, we're all eating this and, and we need to know what we're, what we're getting into, what we're putting into our bodies. Um, everybody thinks that organic is, is the magic answer. And it's not because even within organic, there's a certain percentage of that that doesn't have to be organic. It doesn't have to be proven by anyone. And the scales for organic are very fuzzy at best. So, um, and there's a lot of self-policing in that um, agenda as well. And so you, you, you just, you have to be an educated consumer. Um, we are doing our best in the industry to give you a high quality product, but you're going to have to be active in pursuing that product. There are, I am seeing in grocery stores, um, born, raised and harvested in the USA. Now that is the only labeling that ensures that you are getting what I grow and what other cattle producers grow. You are getting a product that is, um, highly vested in. It is, um, well fed. It's well treated. It's, it's processed in a healthy facility. Um, USDA inspected means that you are getting a product that an inspector has looked at. That's all that means. It does not mean there is nothing about that piece of meat that says it has even the only time that it stepped foot on U.S. soil or has been on U.S. soil because it may not even be alive when it comes to U.S. soil. It has, it, it is run in front of a person, um, that looks at it as it goes through the conveyor belt. So that's what USDA inspected means. Um, not that it doesn't have a value. It just does not mean that it is born, raised and harvested in the USA. The only labeling that ensures that fact is products that are labeled that. So, um, a lot of the big beef corporations, um, are, um, uh, paying extra money to be in that counter right, right in front. So be aware that if you're going to the larger grocery stores, I, I do know that in the Overland Park area, I have a, a, a friend that I know, he actually has a pretty large butcher shop and he is in the high V's in, Kansas City area, but he's not in that big front counter. He is in um, a side counter because Big Beef pays for the 
the prime areas of, of the traffic. So um, you may have to step to a second, second counter, but you can find um, born, raised, and harvested in the USA beef. And, and you can, in some markets, you can even find locally produced beef, which is, which is so key, in, in my opinion. You know, when we're talking about sustainability and we're talking about, you know, everybody wants to make sure that, that our cattle are being sustainable, but then they don't insist on a product that hasn't been trucked halfway across the world, halfway across the United States, halfway across, I mean, you see what I'm saying here? So th there is some accountability. There is some responsibility on the part of the consumer to ensure that these products are safe and healthy and what you want to be feeding your family. So we are producing a healthy product. We are producing a good product. We are caring for our animals. We are making sure that they're well fed and that they're well taken care of and we love them and and there's there's a lot of farmers and ranchers out there that do you know there's 97 percent of of all of us that are doing it that are still owner operators so there's there's a lot of good farmers out there there's a lot of good farmers doing the right thing in, in our country um but understand that you as a consumer are going to have to take that next step and pursue that you you are being given that option now um, there, there are, yes, there are some, uh, websites as well that you can purchase beef and have it sent, um, and, and from local producers. And that's certainly, you know, that that's your choice. And thank God we live in a country that you have a choice. And so, um, so anyway, I, I just felt it really important to, um, to offer a little bit of education, a little bit of understanding out there, because frankly, um, all of our farm organizations are not supporting us in this endeavor. It is so political. There is so much money at the higher levels being crossing paths to not label our beef, to, um, confuse and, uh, misrepresent to our consumers. And so, um, you guys are going to have to be be active, which, you know, I mean, the, the good thing about that is, you know, um, is that you still have power, you still have control, you still have a voice in what, what you set on your table. And, um, so it, it is important and, and you do have that information and opportunity out there. So, um, I just want you guys to know how grateful I am for each and every one of you that are watching and following me and, being a part of what I do every day. And I want to thank you and know that if you are here on this planet right now, that God has a plan for you and it is good. It is not easy. Trust me. I know it is not easy, but it is good. And so just remember that Jesus loves you. Remember that God loves you and that you were made for a reason and a purpose and you were made out of love. So, God bless you, and please show mercy to each other.